To kick this episode off, I think I'm going to do some dungeoneering. I really want to get to at least 75 to unlock a particular um, resource dungeon. And of course, one of the best things about dungeoneering is the free crafting XP at the end of every dungeon. Woo! And... I have completed the easy diaries. Because why not? I might as well, since I'm here. And now the medium tasks are done as well. Coincidentally, I also just got 75 dungeoneering, so it came out perfectly. Now I could do the thing that I uh, reached 75 dungeoneering for, but there's a PVM week now, which means that there's better drop chances and 50% uh, more Slayer XP, so I feel like I should do combat. And here it comes! More archaeology XP, man. Ah, <laughs> uh, Tears of Gothics is insane. I haven't even started training archaeology yet. I've only done a couple of daily challenges and mostly Tears of Gothics. And I'm already 53. I should probably start training archaeology one of these days, but now it's time for some combat training. I'm going to do a bunch of Slayer and uh, hopefully I can get my combat high enough to maybe do some actual bossing before this week ends, so to make use of the bonuses. Hey! I just got 75 magic! This means I can finally use that tier 75 weapon I've been keeping for a while. Although I think I'm just gonna finish my task with this uh, graphics set. It's good enough for now. And here it is. The Vanquish. It should be a nice upgrade. I can switch it to any of the combat styles and there it is. It's over five it has over five hundred more accuracy than the Gothic staff, so mm. That's pretty neat. I'm gonna just do the first two pirate quests so that I can unlock cave horrors and unspeakable horrors for slayer tasks because I actually think I have the slayer level for them now. And it would be really nice to get a black mask. Hey, cabin fever is done and now I can access cave horrors. Also got some decent XP lamps, let's just use those. Thanks. By the way, I would like how this uh, staff looks, the Vanquish, but I just really don't like this weird big shell thingy at the end. Like that, that part just ruins it for me. I don't know why. Get task. And, oh, nice. I immediately got cave horrors. All right, this is going to be great. I might even get a black mask right away on my first task. This is a decent amount. This is a 162. Wow. Actually, I have changed my mind a bit because I realized that there is something that I really should get before uh, getting in more into Slayer tasks because it's going to be really useful. It's the Split Dragon Tooth Necklace, I think, uh, which restores prayer points after each bone buried. And since I have a bone crusher, I could just keep killing things and never, never run out of prayer points. But for that, I'm going to need a 60 prayer. And I'm still missing 4 levels. I don't want to kill dragons. Uh, so I'm just gonna kill Zogers and use these bones. And I think this should be enough for now. Over 500 of both of those. Now let's open the Ogre Coffin Keys. And let's hope I can get some of those good bones. It would speed things up. It has actually been such a long time since I've opened these things. Sometimes I forget they even exist. 
Oh, but so far I'm getting a decent amount of these bones. I know that I probably should be going to uh, the Act of Functus to use these, but uh, that would take forever and it's so tedious and I just don't want to go through that hell, so I'm gonna uh, risk my account a bit and uh, use the Chaos Altar in the wilderness. And let's see how much someone who comes and teleport blocks me to kill me would get. 2.7 million, that's that's a juicy bit of loot. Let's use the good bones first. Oh, that's good XP. And there's 60 prayer. I still have like over 200 bones though, so I think I'm gonna use those up before getting this really convenient and really cool necklace. There it is, 17k tokens. 50 prayer points for normal bones and 100 for big bones. Since cave horrors drop big bones, I should have practically infinite prayer down there. So, funny thing, I just realized I won't be able to wear my split dragon tooth necklace because I need to wear a witchwood icon against the cave horrors. Yikes. Uh, well, this is still gonna be useful for a lot of other things, but yeah, <laughs> sorry about that. Alright, these are pretty good. They don't deal a lot of damage and the XP is very nice. And the drops are noted so far. And they all seem to be pretty useful, especially for Iron Man. I mean, tea clogs, mahogany, coconuts, herbs. Nice. Now I have a Banshee task, uh, which are weak to ranged. I want to kill the mighty ones, not the weak ones in the Slayer Tower. Uh, so I should get a proper ranged weapon. I managed to get it up to 60, but I don't have a tier 60 weapon right now. And all of the tier 60 weapons seem pretty hard to get, like dragon crossbows. So I'm just gonna get a red salamander which is basically the same, but it's easy to get. Aha! A Salamander. Yes, tier 60 weapon. Okay, so I got like 500 swam Swamp Tar by killing Cave Slimes. I think I just need to mix them with Terramin. Yes! And now I have ammo for my Salamander. And this is also... Uh, bit of herbal XP, so I'm actually making use of these herbs. Like, I don't think I would use Terramin for anything else anyway. Ah, yes, I always found it kind of <laughs> funny how you can just straight up use salamanders as guns. And they're actually quite strong. Oh, hey, I just got something. Turoth boots. I didn't know these were a thing, but they're tier 50 and actually give damage bonus for ranged. It's better than the one I have now, so yay. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho! Wasn't recording, but yay! I actually managed to get a black mask. Nice. Unfortunately, I can't make it into a slayer mask yet, but we'll get there. So now I actually have over 400 slayer points. And I could learn how to craft a Slayer Helm or learn how to craft Wings of Slaying. Hmm, since I can't turn the Slayer Helm into a mighty one for quite a while, uh, which would allow me to use it with magic and ranged as well, I think the first thing that I learn is gonna be Wings of Slaying. Mm hmm. There's 75 crafting, and now I can make rings of slaying. So let me just make, uh, I'll make all 250 of them into a ring right now, I think. Oh, I'm so glad I unlocked these rings of slaying. Before having the ring, I, I had to teleport to the Alcarid Lodestone, run all the way down here and take the thingy 
the magic carpet over here to get to Sumona and it was very tedious every time. But now I can just use this rub and go straight there. This is actually so good. Oh boy, is that an effigy? It's the first time I got one on this account. Uh, I'm definitely not going to be able to use it for a long time, but it's good to have, I guess. And now I should have enough points to up, to get myself my own Slayer Helmet as well. There it is, my very first, very own Slayer Helmet. Looks nice, feels good to have. Very nice. Now I just need to level up my Slayer a bit, uh, to like 70 something, uh, to be able to get the parts to upgrade it completely, turning it into a Mighty Slayer Helmet, which also works for magic and ranged, with both the accuracy and damage buffs. Right now it only works for melee, so, but it's still good to have. So finally I have received my very first Baron Spectre's Slayer task, which is something I'm really excited about. These guys are not only really good XP for ranged, but they are also very good for drops. They drop a whole lot of herbs and seeds as well, I think. So yeah, this is this is definitely going to be one of my favorite tasks. And I'm glad to have these unlocked. Come at me, bro. Just look at all these herbs I've got from Slayer. And a bunch of seeds as well. These are going to be really good for uh, potions and training. And here's a bunch of other loot as well. There's a couple alcohols in there and other stuff, which I haven't really sorted through yet. So yeah, this has been nice. Well, unfortunately, that's it. The PVM week is about to be over and I didn't actually get to uh, bossing, unfortunately. But I did get some really nice Slayer games, got some good combat levels. So yeah, it, it still wasn't a waste. And I have unlocked a couple of things, like the Slayer Ring and the Slayer Helm. I think in the next episode, I'm actually going to be able to get ready for bossing. Maybe even start bossing. But we'll see. Yeah, that, that's gonna be my goal. In the next episode, I'm going to get ready to boss in the God Wars Dungeon, no matter the cost. See you then, hopefully soon. Bye!